Though it's a favorite mantra of the gun-owning public, it doesn't always take a good guy with a gun to stop a bad guy with a gun. Hi everyone, this is John with today's active self-protection lesson out of Arlington, Texas. We're going to see an armed robbery here that goes badly for the armed robbers. It will teach us some important lessons about the danger that multiple attackers face, about having attitude as well as skills and plan to defend ourselves, and the importance of empty-handed skills in defense against an armed robbery. So these two employees are father-son, and now they have two guys in their store, one who pulls a gun on them out of his pocket, jumps the counter here, and when he does, the son's deciding he's not having it. He's gonna go after this guy, and the dad decides to join him as well. Now you notice the second bad guy has a gun in his hand at this point, he kind of thinks about putting it away, but now he points it at father and son instead and won't let it be taken away from him. But they've gotten the gun away from the first guy, second guy decides he's not a murderer and is gonna bug out, almost leaves his friend there and then his friend's gonna start throwing some bows at these guys here. First guy's gonna come back, punch the dad in the face and so his partner's gonna be able to get away, leaves his shirt there, but this one's over when they get away from him. Now a couple things here that we wanna learn as we go back and learn some lessons. First of all is that if you go read the news story, and I think the news story is important here, the father said that his son knew that these guys came in here both wearing hoodies. It was a hot day in Texas, uh, you know, in July, and these guys have got their hoodies up, and he's like, man, something's wrong, this isn't right. So those pre-attack indicators can be very important. Next, the guy pulls a gun on him, and the father said that they thought that it was a fake gun. However, the police said that it was a real gun, and it was a loaded gun, and the dad said, yeah, we recognize that wasn't necessarily a smart thing for us to do, so he recognizes this was very risky. And if they're gonna try to you know, disarm the guy at this point, he has two hands on the gun and the, the counter between them, that would have been very difficult. Now, the guy jumps over the counter and his son decides to go for it. But you gotta recognize there are multiple attackers here. And in this instance, if you're not armed and they are armed, you could be at an incredible disadvantage and could have been you know, murdered very easily here. So when you have multiple attackers, you gotta see not only is the one armed, but are they both armed? Before you decide if you're gonna defend yourself or not, might have just been a whole lot easier to just give them the till here and not put yourself at significant risk. And the reason that we talk about that counter being in the way and being an issue is you see that he tries to pull at the gun, but this guy is a little faster than him, pulls that gun back and he's not able to disarm him. He's not able to practice the five Ds plus one. And again, very dangerous guy could have taken that as a personal insult or whatever and shot him right there. Thankfully he didn't. And now they've got the first guy disarmed. And so the last thing that I would say here is don't hold him. If the guy wants to run, let him run. What you were trying to do is keep yourself from injury and from harm and, and holding on to him got that guy elbowed in the face there which I wouldn't recommend and when they want to go let them go let the security cameras do their thing so if you're gonna resist against armed robbers make sure you do so correctly make sure you do so in the right time and cover your ASP 